do you remember, I'd asked you about whether you remembered it or what was the first photographs that you started taking, but mm -hmm. do you remember the first exhibition that, of, of your work? Um, yeah. And what was that like? Um, as well as what, what it was perhaps about, what was the was, theme of the exhibition? Um, it was actually a photography exhibition, it was a All long right. time ago. Um, right. God, it must have been 2000, 20 years ago. I was still, I just finished my diploma, so mm. I didn't have my degree yet. Um, it was in Belfast, actually. And it was um, a, um, it was, it was an exhibition with another artist. So it was, it was like a kind of dual show, those the two of us were there. It was in a small space in, in off Donegal Street in Belfast. Mm. And, um, there were a lot of images that I took. Um, they were very big black and white images. Um, and previous to that, it was in India. So they were all just um, from this little village that I went to. And um, it was a very remote village and everybody was really fascinated with the camera. Yeah. So I had just lines of people. Really? Kind of posing for photos. Yeah. This was also the time, I suppose, when the idea of, of you know, people photographed very differently then. Mm. I, you know, whereas now photography and and taking images, you know, that you wouldn't really do that anymore, I think. But at the time, everybody was just like, take my photo. And um, I took a lot of photos. Um, but there was about five or six of them were really special to me. It was really, when I think about it, it was really kind of ad hoc. Like, the prints came out very nice. Um, I think I mounted them terribly. I wouldn't do that again. What do you mean you mounted them ter terribly? <laughs> just mounted on wood. Oh shit. right! <laughs> they they looked fine. Well, it's interesting because uh, they were so they weren't staged. These these no, photographs, no, right? actually they weren't staged at all. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. What I did, um, I was very. I feel like they they were very um, they were blown up quite large from thirty five mil necks. Um, so they did. They were almost like kind of. Um, size would it be? They'd be about a a zero size, I suppose. So they were quite large, not massively yeah. large, but wow. as much as you could push a thirty-five neck. Um, what was it like to show them to the pe to people? Um, like I that? think I think when I was that age, it was there was a lot more anxiety. You're mm. just like, will this get up on the wall? Um, and you also. I, I didn't feel, used to, usually when I would have shows I would actually feel quite uncomfortable around my work. Yeah. I don't really like being around my work. I don't mind it here because this is kind of my space. But when it's in a public realm, you always feel very, um, you feel a little bit kind of shy about it. Yeah. And you always feel like you want to step away from it, particularly like you might be in that space for a couple of days beforehand. So you are quite sick of being in that space. Um, in some ways, and you feel a little bit like you you, you just want to walk away from it. Mm -hmm. And I um, think that was my first experience of that because before that, you know, any other kind of output would be through college, and that would be usually involved getting a grade, so there'd be a degree of celebration involved. Yeah. So there wasn't that sense of, of I've gained something in that way, in an academic sense. Um, you just had your work up and I didn't really know how to feel. Mm. You don't really know, you know, a lot of the time when you, you know, there's enormous anxiety of that, will it go up, will I be happy with it when it goes up? And then when it does, you always kind of feel like people are looking at you when they see your work and that can make you feel very strange. Do you feel protective of your work? No. Because you, you, you mentioned that it is almost like you, when you're here, your mm. work is your space, your, mm. your work is your space. When you take your work out, yeah. does it feel like you're letting people into that safe space with you? And so um, A little bit. It feels a bit like um, you, t you feel a certain amount of protection, but it, it's, more, yeah, you, it's more that you just feel incredibly vulnerable. Mm. And you shouldn't really, because you know, it's, it's, it's only art. But it does, it does make me feel strange. Uh -huh. And I've always felt this conflict because as an artist, you know, this thing of showing is meant to be great. But I, I don't know. Like, if I could get a double somewhere in the world, I would gladly pay them. You would? <laughs> what do you mean a double? A person double. There's meant to be oh, a double right. of everyone. I, I might actually put an advert in. I had a friend who went looking <laughs> for doubles before, but he was in <laughs> London. 
I mean, no. we... <laughs> would you do that? Absolutely. That Absolutely. would be very interesting. Um, I think that would be sort of an artistic experiment in it itself. It would. It right? Would. My friend was trying to do that before. I don't know how well he got on with his stuff. Was, right. I was kind of thinking if he, he was struggling in London, mm. I may struggle in Ireland given the population. Yeah. Or not. Or you could find a long lost twin. Or, you know... Could force so much in, to either. <laughs> well, with the technological developments, maybe it could happen. It, it could, could be made happen. for you. You could I, order your double soon enough. I would, yeah, well, there's, there is a lot of technical innovation. And I could maybe... Right. I, but I do. I always... Uh, but then when you're not there, you also feel strange. A lot of it's down to when you go into the space, you have this vision of what it'll look like. Uh -huh. A bit like Christmas. You know, you imagine it's going to be this, this and this. Yeah, yeah. And... and um, then as you get older you realize it's not <laughs> those things no sure. you, you it's not that no that sounds very negative i shouldn't it's not it. negative it's just the real it's, thing. it's the thing and i'm not talking about the gallery experience because the galleries are usually amazing it's your experience of what you think your work will look like in a space yeah and then you go in and it doesn't look like that yeah, and you I... can kind of see yourself or something in it and for some reason there could be all this other work by other artists and you're like that looks fantastic and mine still looks weird and half finished oh. and slightly shit and, and you and then you just feel like now i have to stand beside it and people have to ask me questions and yeah okay you know there's all this kind of um these things and they 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 kind of should you should be able to leave them behind you at some point um well, sometimes it creep back it's kind of an insecurity but it creeps back and i always feel like there's something slightly awkward about my work so it kind of sticks out 